The next Peabody goes to 60 Minutes All in the Family. This report uncovers relationships with, between government officials and defense contractors, a story that continues to unfold. It's a sweetheart contract. There's no other word for it. Charles Lewis is the executive director of the Center for Public Integrity, a nonprofit organization which investigates corruption and abuse of power by government and corporations. He says the trend towards privatizing the military began during the first Bush administration when Dick Cheney was Secretary of Defense. In 1992, the Pentagon, under Cheney, commissioned the Halliburton subsidiary Brown and Root to do a classified study on whether it was a good idea to have private contractors do more of the military's work. Of course, they said it's a terrific idea. And over the next eight years, Kellogg, Brown and Root, and another company got 2,700 contracts worth billions of dollars. So they, they helped to design the architecture for privatizing a lot of what happens today in the Pentagon when we have military engagements. Two years later, when he leaves the Department of Defense, Cheney is the CEO of Halliburton. Uh, thank you very much. It's a nice arrangement for all concerned. Accepting the Peabody is 60 Minutes correspondent Steve Croft. In accepting this, the 10th Peabody Award given to 60 Minutes, <clears throat> I want to acknowledge Dana Miller, the associate producer on the story, and Danny Pellarella, the editor, and also the boss, Don Hewitt, who is leaving the broadcast after more than 35 years to become the executive producer at CBS News. And he created not just the vehicle, but the environment that has allowed us all to pursue the best in journalism. Second, this is a bittersweet moment for me because I should not be up here alone. The producer on this story and my collaborator Trevor Nelson died suddenly and unexpectedly at age 34 a few months after the story aired. For the last year, his family and his family at CBS News has been mourning him, but this is a, a day of celebration. I remember the first time that I walked into his office after he joined my staff and there was a little clipping on the wall uh, announcing that H.R. Uh, Knickerbocker of the Philadelphia Ledger and New York Evening Post had won the Pulitzer Prize for correspondence in 1931. He was Trevor's godfather, or Trevor's grandfather. Um, that lineage was a great source of pride to Trevor and testament uh, not only to his journalistic bloodlines, but also to his ambition to excel and to make a difference. And in many ways, this is Trevor's Pulitzer. Everyone who knew him said that he was destined for great things, and today, he's accomplished them. I want to thank the Peabody jury for recognizing those accomplishments uh, and honoring him with the highest award in broadcast journalism and for making one of Trevor's lifelong dreams come true. Thank you.